Unajua na ukarimu wa baba ulikuwa umefanya maneno. Sasa Abraham kuna kisha agenda zote alipoambiwa kwamba utampata. Katika hiyo nafasi Sara kamzi utapata mtoto. There was no condition. Imagine man. where on earth. Chosho kama mimi nilipata kutana na malaika. Si stories za watu, ni story ya Jehovah. Na maneno ya Mungu ni tofauti na vile unajua wewe. Bwana ashabiwe. Maneno ya Mungu ni tofauti na daktari anasema. Wewe hesabu yako inasema at 90 huwezi pata mtoto. Nashukuru Jumapili ya leo. Sara wa Biblia at 90 alimzaa za wazi ni story ya Jehovah. Praise the name of the Lord. Maneno ya Mungu. When God says something, na vile unajua wewe. He brings the assurance. Maneno ya Mungu tofauti vile daktari anasema. This year when you choose to serve the Lord please make sure kwamba the Lord has said because I know there is a time when God says ifanye jambo fulani na wewe unafanya tu make sure kwamba ama saa nyingine unakosa kufanya ama nyingine unafanya kwa sababu ya emotion za tu na hisia zako saa nyingine unakosa kufanya ama nyingine enda taratibu na polepole kwa sababu Mungu huwa chelewi He will always confirm enda taratibu na polepole kwa sababu Mungu huwa chelewi akakosa kufanya Hakuna kazi yangu inakuanga tu kwa chai nimejiandaa Mungu akakosa na nimetayarisha nikisha maza tayarisha kwa sababu bibi tatu zinakuanga mbele inakuwa tu nimetayarisha nikisha unatembea tu unasikia Mungu anakonfa unafungua television Mungu anakonfa unatembea tu unasikia Mungu anakonfa unafungua radio Mungu anakonfa unafungua television Mungu anakonfa chote Mungu anasema unajua God is all power chote Mungu is in everything he can confirm everything Bwana asifiwe Bwana asiwe mwana glory baptism Ninaomba mwaka huu usifanye tu vitu bora unafanya. Kwa sababu unafanya hutaona furaha yake. Fanya kwa sababu Mungu ameconfirm na Mungu amekuhakishia ni yeye. That is what God wants from us. Praise the name of Jesus. Napenda sana huyu msichana katika 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 1 to 3. Nitasoma hiyo mstari because I love it. 2 Kings chapter 5 wa falma pili. The Bible says now Naaman was a commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier. The Bible says who must stand. Alijianda. Soma bila na zafia ilikuwa one day thing again. Alijipanga. Kwa moyo wake ninaona conviction ikitembea. Huyu my master akipata tu nafasi ya kutana na Mungu wetu wa Israeli aki ukoma inaisha Ninampenda kwa sababu hakubakia hapo Hello alichukua hatua akaenda akaona the mistress wake How do we know Tunaona matokeo ikifikia the master Alienda akamwambia the mistress Naona huyu master wetu tupata tu nafasi. Ninajua vile wamama wanaongeanga hapo. Najua. Nilikuleta hapa ufanye kazi. Mwaokoka tuongeange hivi. Msichana wa kaza akianza kuchunguza bwana yako, utamruhusu. Hata utafukuza sikio mwingine hata unaweza shika utupe juu. Nilikuleta hapa kuchunguza bwana yako. I thank God. A slave guy. Alichunguza bwana yake na nia nzuri. Na akasema my master akipewa chance. Na nikumbusha nyimbo tuliimbanga tuna Mungu wa Israeli. Bwana asifiwe. Aliposema hivyo Naaman report ilifikia. Ta kuona Naaman alikuwa gaidi na uaskari umejaa ndani yake. Anaenda huko anafikiria tumtumishi wa Mungu anakuja kumuona. Mtumishi akuja alituma naye mfanyikazi wake ongea naye huko <laughs> kwa jengine mwaka usi mwaka wa vieo ni mwaka kutumikia Mungu <laughs> praise the name of the lord si mwaka wa vieo tell your neighbor si mwaka wa vieo atanaleta ukomando wake kwa mtumishi wa Mungu na una shida eh atalitaka Elisha akuja mwambie i salute you Elisha anasema ambie chuma kijana huyo kijana yake mkono ambia eh hey. Jordan mara saba. Tunaona jamaa analeta ugaidi. Kwetu kuna mito ya maji clean. Haka kamoto kachafu. Huu ni mwaka kutumikia Mungu. Praise the name of Jesus. Tumika. Atakupeleka kwa vitu vyenye unataka uingie. Tumika wholeheartedly. But I thank God wafanyikazi wake walikuwa wazuri. Walimwambia Nama, Master, wacha ugaidi. 
Unaonaje kama ungaambiwa ulipe mali yako yote? Ungaonaje kama ungaambiwa fanya hivi? Hii ni jambo very simple. Ingia tu kwa mali. The Bible records 1 2 3 4. Kwa inuka ile ya saba The Bible says mwili ulikuwa ni mweupe kama wa mtoto mdogo. Pigia bwana Yesu makofu mazuri. Conviction. Huwa na celebrate mstana as a young girl full of conviction. I want to give you a few things on conviction. What is conviction? Con a firm belief. Kuamini kwenye hakuna kutetemeka, kuyumbishwa yumbishwa. A firm. You are very firm in what you believe. Praise the name of Jesus. You stand for what you believe. Conviction is also a belief that disturbs. You cannot have conviction. Now, of course, what disturbs? Where is what you mutu akuri? That's not a conviction. Akuna. Paka usumbuke. Wana aspiwe. Kama mama mnyani namtoto kuatumbo. Mama mnyani natarajia mtoto kuatumbo. Akuangu tu amchezo i. Melikumbusha picha moja sipingini. Sikuwa tukua tunakaa badu kwa matatu za kuangaliana hapa maidini. Nakumuka zile matatu. Sikuwa naituwa za box. Nakaa huku na mnaangaliana hii. Siku moja nilingia kwa matatu hivi na nikapata mama moja ako style. Na sikuwa wavijana wajana wana kusikuma sikuwa. Hey mama atata. Hey! Hey! Kashimbi watafaya. Nini na ni matatu lazima tukaya ndani? Mama mwenyana, anajuanga ni na mutu, paka nilinde, wezu kumicheze cheze hivi. Aloa mama, wana aspiwe. Ni yeye, ndiyo, lakini hiko mutu anatunza. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, conviction is a belief, yeye na disturb. Kuna kata tu mtoto anarushanga tumateke kidogo. Nuzaona tu mama hako, kumbe kakitu kamefanyika. Munajifanya mjui. Pachia wa babo enya wajui ya tujui. Kini wa mama anajua. Ndiyo sababu unakutanga ukuli mchanga, unanza kula mchanga. Kwa nini? Uliko temi mate. Why? Baba akirudi na muambi, watoto anatamani maini, nasi watoto ni wewe. Kwa mwaka huu, usifanya tu vitu, bora unafanya. Kwa sababu, ukifanya bora unafanya vita kwa ibisha. Ukifanya tu bora kwa sababu watu wanafanya. I believe, next is I believe that most want to action. Paka unasonga, unaakon Conviction ya mungi inasemanga I will not rest Until I work on what Something is inside and it is disturbing Somebody say a good amen to that I will not stop until I make sure I believe, next is I believe that moves one to action This slave guy Was a slave Paka unasonga, unaakon Praise Jesus Conviction ya mungi Conviction ya mungi na semanga, I will not rest until I work. Kama ukoma imeisha, nama na nisema nini. Somebody say, I will not stop until I make sure. I will not stop until I make sure. This level was a level. This level was a level. Ugonje ni ugona kureka kwa kaburi umepona. Na mstana huyu ndi hamefanya umepona. What will you do? Sinaona hata farasu kimpatia tembele juu. Kama ukoma imeisha, nama na nisema. As left girl with conviction. Suwamuwe mwaka huu tembe kwa conviction ya mungu. Hallelujah. Mwisho, we must stop making excuses. I preached on this last time. Mwaka huu ndi hamefanya umepona. Viji sababu kondo. Mwaka wa kumtumikia mungu. Sinaona hata farasu kimpatia tembele juu. Kumtumikia mungu wa sababu ya chuchote. Mwaka wa kumtumikia mungu. Naomba usome Ezra chapter 3. Verse 8. Mwisho, we must stop making excuses. Utaona visi sababu vinyo vizitolewa Ezra 3, 8-13 Vigi sababu Pia utasoma Ezra chapter 4, verse 1 to 6 Utaona hizo Challenges enye walipitia Na yesu mwenye walikata mambo ya vigi sababu Ikifika kutumikia mungu Nerusu nisome hii and then Utaona visi sababu vinyo vizitolewa Ezra 3, verse 16, 8-13 pia utasoma Ezra chapter 14 verse 1 to 6 verse 16 to 21 utaona hizo kama media team hizo channels and budget we start some pamoja na Yesu mwenyewe alikataa mambo ya vijana Hagai alikuwa mwanadamu kama mimi na wewe na wewe unaweza ukafanya nafasi ya basi msikia mkwele praise the name of Jesus nimesema 14 conviction toa uduru biblia yangu inasema kwa kuduru kwa nia moja hiyo ni kumwambia mtu mmoja alifanya karamu kubwa akaalika watu wengi Haya, songesha jutuma mtumwa wake saya chakula 
awaambie wale walioalikwa njooni bado kwa kuwa Aya. vitu vyote ibada mpisha kuwekwa tayari Wakaanza wote kutoa udhuru wakaanza kutoa udhuru kwa moja hiyo ni excuses wakaanza wote kutoa udhuru kwa njia moja wakaanza akamwambia nimenunua shamba haya songesha juu niende nikalimalize tafadhali unisamehe Umealikwa kwa karamu vile umealikwa mwaka huu na Bwana Yesu. Na badala ya kufanya mapenzi yeah. ya Mungu nasema nimenunua shamba. Alright. Nasema nifanye nini? Eh, lazima niende nikalitazama kwa njia moja. Wakaanza kumwambia nimenunua shamba. By the way the master here ni Yesu. Tafadhali hii ni parable. Verse 19. Mwingine akasema nimenunua ngombe. Josi badala ya kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu nasema nimejaribu. Tafadhali unisamehe. Lazima nifanye nini? Mwingine akasema verse 20 nikalitazama. Nimeoa mke na kwa sababu hiyo siwezi kuja. Yule mtumwa akaenda akampa bwana wake habari ya mambo hayo. Hii ni basi yule mwenye nyumba akakasirika. Mwingine akasema, nimenunua ngombe toka upesi uende katika njia kuu na vitorotoro vya mtali unisamehe. hapa maskini na vilema na vipofu na viweka. Mtumwa akasema bwana hayo ulio ya giza yule mtumwa akaenda akampa bwana hata sasa ingaliko na basi yule mwenye nyumba anakasirika. Bwana akamwambia mtume toka, toka upesi uende katika barabarani na mipakani na vitorotoro vya mtu kawashurutishe kuingia hapa maskini na vilema yangu ipata hata mmoja yamekaisha tendeka ya hata sasa ingaliko nafasi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Yesu hapendi Bwana akamwambia mtume toka nje uende barabarani na mipakani ukarutishe kawashurutishe kuingia ndani nyumba yangu ipate kujaa maana nawaambia kwamba katika wale walioalika wakati tuliokoka tuliimbanga wimbo ukiniita na it was more of passive yes, akini sababu nizaidi ka akini tantaiti ka wakati tuliokoka tuliimbanga wimbo ukiniita taiti na it was more of passive akini ka taiti sasa nataka uimbe tofauti 2023 si kwamba akiniita nataka umwambie umeniita nimeitika ita umeni kazi ya bwana sasa nataka uimbe tofauti 2023 si kwamba akiniita nataka umwambie umeniita nimeitika Kweli mimi ninafanya fanya kazi fanya fanya kazi fanya kazi ya Bwana nitafanya fanya kazi fanya
katika Yesu hasa Yesu katika jina Yesu